Good afternoon everybody. Today we will be talking about my top six fragrances which I would gift to a loved one for Christmas. All of those scents I picked out today are in my opinion also quite festive and can be worn around the festive season. They very much match winter or fall, which um, not all of them, some of them you can wear all year round in my opinion, but so your um, chosen loved one who gets one of these beautiful perfumes can immediately start wearing them. All of the perfumes I have picked out today are designer fragrances, so just keep that in mind uh, regarding the price range. So the first perfume I would definitely gift to a loved one because it has been one of my absolute favorite perfumes of all times would be the Hypnotic Poison Eau de Toilette by Dior. The flacon is supposed to look like an apple. Honestly, if you know those Christmas apples, which are very red, I feel like this is exactly what it looks like. So it very much matches the vibe. The flacon is deep red, so kind of also looks like a bobo on the Christmas tree. So it's just perfect in my opinion. And let me tell you, the smell, it's divine. It's a very oriental smell. It's quite sweet, quite woody and oh my god it's just very sensual and sexy so if you know a person who likes perfumes that are you know magnetic I would say then you would definitely not go wrong with the Hypnotic Poison or the Toilette by Dior. Let me also give you the notes before we move on to the next scent. Hypnotic Poison Eau de Toilette has been around since 1998. The main accords are vanilla, it's sweet, it's almondy, it's fruity, it's nutty, powdery, woody. There's coconut, floral and balsamic. And honestly it's so beautiful. I feel like this scent, because it is quite sweet and, you know, sensual, is perfectly suited for colder weather. So I definitely reach more for this when fall starts, when the air outside is getting a bit more crisp. And also I feel like this is quite the evening scent. So I would definitely recommend, um, yeah, wearing it in the evening. So if your person is just a homebody, not going anywhere in the evenings, Maybe it's not the right one, but um, in the top notes we have coconut, plum and apricot. In the middle notes we have Brazilian rosewood, we have jasmine, caraway, tuberose, rose, lily of the valley and in the base notes vanilla, almond, sandalwood and musk. So just, I, th I feel like just by the vanilla, the almond, the coconut, plums, all of those scents are already quite festive and things we even use in the kitchen during that time of the year. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a really beautiful scent and honestly su such a classic, such a classic. I always have to have this in my collection and I believe a lot of people will love this as well. So the next perfume is also quite the head turner, I would say, and it is Illusione by Bottega Veneta. Why did I pick this perfume? Similarly to the Dior Hypnotic Poison, I feel like Bottega Veneta Illusione, Eau de Parfum by the way, is just very much suited for, for colder weather. Honestly, I feel like you could also wear it in summer and I think it was originally marketed as a summer scent. But I feel like because it is also quite sweet, you could definitely wear this all year round, honestly. And it's a very, again, magnetic perfume because um, I, I even have proof of that. I already spoke about this in my Draw People In With Those Perfumes video that literally a woman asked me to write down the name of the perfume and the brand 
because she smelled it on me and she loved it so much that she definitely wanted to buy it as well. So that's how magnetic it is. You get a lot of compliments wearing this. So I feel like you cannot go wrong with this, uh, gifting this to someone. So Bottega Veneta Illusione is a quite woody perfume again. I feel like it is also quite sweet, but you definitely get some citrus in there as well. If you look on Fragrantica, the website, it even says it's supposed to be very green. I don't know. I don't feel like it is very green. I mean, I get why people would say that, but I just don't feel like that. But it's just my own perception. However, it is not only sweet, it's not like an overpower overpowering scent, it is also quite fresh to be honest. So I just I just love it. It's the perfect mixture of fresh and sweet and sensual and everyday wearable. It's just oh, I love it. In the top notes we have bergamot and we have black currant. In the middle notes we have fig leaf and we also have orange blossom. And in the base notes we have olive tree and tonka bean. Beautiful perfume. The next perfume has definitely developed into an absolute classic in the last couple of years. It came out in 2019, so it is quite a modern perfume and modern scent by one of my favorite brands ever, YSL. It's of course the Libra. I have the big bottle as you can see. And honestly, when I open this and I smell this, I immediately get like a whiz of lavender. So it's just very floral, a bit, I feel like there's a bit of citrus in there as well. It's sweet, but also bitter. It's very, very beautiful and just like the name Libra, I feel like this is a perfume for a confident woman, to be honest which I would recommend after 23. I don't think I would have liked this earlier. If you have someone in your family where you think this is a very confident and strong-willed woman, then Libra might be the right choice. In the top notes we have lavender, we have tangerine orange, we have blackcurrant and we do also have bitter orange. So as I said, it's quite citrusy. In the middle notes we have again lavender, orange blossom and jasmine and in the base notes we have vanilla, we have musk, cedar and ambergris. Really beautiful, I feel like you can't go wrong, as I just said it's a classic, it's loved by so many women so I feel like the danger of gifting this and the person not liking it is very minimal. To be honest, when I got this, I also got this as a gift. At first, I had to really get used to it, but once I started wearing it, as you can see, I started loving it. And honestly, now I love it so much. It's such a beautiful scent and also the bottle is just like, oh, look at it. I mean, it is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Perfect. Next perfume would be the Good Girl Blush, which came out this year, 2023, at least in Europe. And honestly, I got this uh, by mis not by mistake, but it was quite the coincidence because I was in Tenerife and I went into a perfume store or like higher priced drugstore, however you want to say it. And this was displayed really beautifully because as I just said, it was new. And I smelled this and I was like, it smells so good. Oh my God, it is so powdery. It is so sweet and like so feminine. This is the most floral feminine perfume that I own. And I left the store and honestly I had sprayed it on my wrist and I couldn't stop smelling my wrist so I had to go back and buy it and take it with me and I have not regretted it. I have gotten so many compliments on this perfume when I have been wearing it 
And honestly, the flacon is also just gorgeous. It's the typical Carolina Herrera good girl flacon, but just in this beautiful blush uh, pink. And yeah, it. I think this is just a perfect perfume for women, I would say, probably under 35. So over 35, I think this might be a bit young, but... Uh, it's still just so beautiful and honestly I think I I don't know how my tastes are gonna change with time but I feel like I would even wear this at 50 because it's so beautiful let me give you the notes of this gorgeous gorgeous perfume so in the top notes we have bergamot and we have tangerine orange can you see a pattern here because I can. Uh, Peony, Rose Water and Yin Yang are in the hard notes. And in the base note we have Vanilla and Tonka Bean. Honestly, it, it sounds so simple. But it's so beautiful and I have never ever smelled anything like it anywhere before. But it's so beautiful. Honestly, I think this might even be the safest option out of all of the perfumes that I'm showing today. Oh, absolutely beautiful. And also the flacon, especially for teenage girls, might be another big reason to get this one. Okay, let's finish today's video with two Chanel fragrances. One of them being Chanel Coco Mademoiselle Intense. If you have watched a couple of my other videos, you have heard me raging, raving, <laughs> how do you say it, about this perfume extensively. This is my absolute signature scent. I love it so much. Once I went on a day trip to another city uh, out of Munich and I went to a drugstore or like perfume store and just, just opened the bottle smell it like this and immediately the, this wave came over me and I still feel like that a lot of the times when I open it. Where it's so beautiful and captivating and magnetic. Honestly, so many of those perfumes that I am recommending today are my favorite fragrances because they are extremely magnetic. This one not being an exception. It's so floral and citrusy again, like I love kind of floral, citrusy, sweet scents and this is exactly that. And you know what, I also like the Coco Mademoiselle, but I feel like the Coco Mademoiselle without the intense would be a good gift for a girl in her teenage years or maybe beginning of her 20s. However, Above 25, as soon as you turn 25, I feel like Coco Mademoiselle without the Intense might be a bit young. Whereas the Intense has a bit more depth and interesting, like it's a bit more of an interesting composition to my nose. So I feel like you can't go wrong with that one then. Absolutely beautiful. Let me also give you the notes. So in the top notes we have Sicilian Orange, we have Calabrian Bergamot and Lemon. Very citrusy. In the hard note we have rose and jasmine, very floral. And in the base note we have patchouli, vanilla, tonka bean, white musk and lip denim resin. So sweet. It's just honestly so so beautiful. This is my absolute favorite Chanel fragrance of all time, of all the fragrances I've smelled from Chanel. At least at this point. So this might be my favorite gift option to be honest. But, as I just said, I brought another perfume, which I think would be an amazing, gorgeous gift, which is also loved by many. I heard men like this perfume a lot on women. <laughs> and it is the Chanel Coco Noir, Eau de Parfum, of course. And honestly, this, this is so beautiful. Oh. My goodness, this flacon is just everything. And I feel like this smells a bit more bitter. It's not as sweet, it's not as like floral. It, it's a bit more mature and sophisticated in my opinion. I feel like this is a very elegant perfume that you could, in my opinion, even wear to the office. It's 
quite spicy honestly it, it smells very spicy to me it's as a, it's also citrusy but I feel like it's even more woody than that uh, just it's not the sweet typical girl perfume like Coco Mademoiselle or for example this one it's much more sophisticated I would say so this is a very sophisticated gift option so now let me give you the notes. The top notes are grapefruit, bergamot and orange. The middle notes or hard notes are rose, geranium, jasmine, narcissus and peach. And in the base notes we have patchouli, we have sandalwood, we have olibanum, tonka bean, vanilla, white mask, cloves and benzoin. Honestly, I feel like not everybody might like this and I feel like under 25 or maybe even under 27 this might be a bit risky of a present but anything above that as soon as you are basically a strong woman le leading your own life, making your own decisions I feel like as soon as you hit that point you can wear this and it's just beautiful. Ah, I love it. I also sprayed it all over myself today and it's really beautiful I love it you know what I feel like it's also quite festive because of the olibanum uh, so I feel like this might be especially great at Christmas for example or I don't know New Year's Eve it's to me like to my nose it smells a bit festive but it's absolutely beautiful like let me just spray it one more time Mm. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Love that. So, let me conclude this video. If you want to give a very magnetic perfume to your loved one, I would definitely go with Bottega Veneta Illusione or with Hypnotic, Hypnotic Poison Eau de Toilette by Dior. Or with the Coco Mademoiselle Intense or yeah th those are the most magnetic ones I would say if you want a pretty girly sweet perfume I would go with Carolina Herrera good girl brush brush blush or with the Coco Mademoiselle Intense or even without intense or with again Hypnotic Poison by Dior. If you are looking for a more sophisticated gift then I would definitely go with Coco Noir or with the Yves Saint Laurent Libre. Alright, <laughs> I have talked a lot but honestly regardless of which of the, these fragrances you pick to gift to your loved one I think they will be very very happy no matter what you choose from these I just wanted to help a bit and shine, shine a bit of light on what I believe uh, makes the most sense so I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope I will also see you in the next one with that being said I hope you have an amazing Christmas time an amazing festive season this year I hope you get the most beautiful presents ever and I <laughs> I I wish for Christmas that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below yeah that being said bye